Hello, just too good here. And one of the best Lego leaks has come out. This is from a bunch of sources. I mean, I remember seeing it a few days ago from Exab Bricks and Critics Cup, but I was a little bit skeptical. But now Falcon Fan was reporting on it with uh, Brick Clicker reporting on it. So it's just like, yeah, this seems like a legit leak. Lego Animal Crossing 2024 sets. These apparently release in March 2024, and this is a minifigure line. Yes, a Nintendo minifigure line. Don't forget, we are getting a Lego Zelda set next year with uh, the Deku Tree from Ocarina of Time and Breath of the Wild, which is really awesome, and that will be minifigure scale. This is apparently a line of five sets with molded minifigure heads. So it'll be akin to say Lego Simpsons or Lego Powerpuff Girls, but with more sets than those ever got. Now, this is the best rumor for me for so many reasons. First off, I love Nintendo to death. Second off, I love Animal Crossing to death. I've loved the game since the GameCube version, which had all these NES games, but I never owned it. My cousin owned it, so I would always borrow it from him. And then we eventually just got our own Wild World copies back around 2005. Got every game since, except I never got City Folk for some reason. And then, of course, third, this is almost like Lego Fabuland. Lego Fabuland was this anthropomorphic animal theme from the late 70s and the 80s, which had really strange minifigures. I love the minifigures personally, and they had these big, goofy animal heads. They didn't have the same bodies as a minifigure, but I always adored how they looked. So this one will be like that, but except with actual minifigure torsos and legs. And this makes perfect sense. Animal Crossing blew the heck up worldwide during COVID. March 2020, everybody was playing the game. Even my mom loves this game. Just mom is like a huge fan of this game. So it's just like universal appeal, perfect sense. Nintendo and Lego have been putting out the Mario sets, but this will actually have minifigures. So it's already better than the current Mario line. Still hoping that that Mario line gets minifigures next year. I'm really liking the piece and price counts here where it's a $15 set, a $20 set, a $30 set, and a $40 set. Yes, keep things cheap. Then you have a $75 set. That's totally fine. Most of them seem to have good price for piece ratios, except that most expensive set, but whatever. I'm going to buy every one of these. I'm going to cover everything that comes out about this theme. This is my new most hyped Lego theme. I can't believe we got Sonic this year, and I can't believe we're getting Animal Crossing next year. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe here for more Lego news and commentary. And check out my old Fabuland reviews to get a little bit of taste of that theme. And I'll see you later. Peace out. Bye.